Well, we want to bring you a story that you might have been a victim of regarding when an accident happens and how fast does it take for an ambulance to come there. Well, four young innovators inspired by tragedy of a family member have developed an emergency application that allows one to save a life with just a touch of a button. Katie and Zinzi Kibiku met up with the young software developers on this week's episode of Texpo. Take a look. According to the World Health Organization, about 3,000 to 13,000 Kenyans lose their lives to road traffic crashes every year. Majority of these people are vulnerable road users such as pedestrians, motorcyclists and cyclists. But with a click on a mobile phone, all that can change. A mobile app developed by university students here in Kenya could be the gateway to reducing time lost between an accident and the time of rescue, which could in turn lower casualties. The innovators behind the application are four friends who came together when one of their sisters was involved in a grisly car accident that almost saw her lose her life. It, it all started with George. We met, we decided to talk, and he's like, Akim, um, I have this idea. So he sits me down. When I thought of the idea and I drew everything on paper to ensure that everything comes into play, it was working on paper. So how will I move the idea from paper to, to, to a physical aspect or a virtual aspect that people can be able to tap into? Okay, my role in this project is primarily doing the user interface design and for user experience. Question is, if mobile life were to not only succeed as one of the applications designed in Africa by Africans, how will this application save lives within communities? You open the navigation panel, then tap on my account, then you fill in the details, your personal details, that is your ID, your names, your residence, phone number, your next of kin details, that is uh, the name of your, the, like your pro priority list the people who should be notified in case something happens to it. From the other side of it, from now the emergency personnel side of it, uh, they also have their app, the iteration of the app. So what they'll do, they'll access the emergency interface. Then from there, they'll be able to see where the distress is coming from, the location. Martin Gisheru, CEO of TechWiz, affirms that the vibrant space within the tech ecosystem within East Africa and the continent at large is one that is attracting investment. Trade relationships would boost the market across borders, and for Martin, this is a platform where today's generation can flourish. According to Martin, for young entrepreneurs, one aspect that is ignored is copywriting one's idea and forgetting the legal work that goes behind a startup. We've seen very many, far enough cases, not just here, even in developed markets where people uh, got kind of ideas and, uh, and products that they went to market with because they did not protect themselves early enough. As Africa continues to pave the way within the tech sector, the young entrepreneurs believe loving what you do and sharing a vision are characters that tomorrow's leaders should cultivate. Zinze Kibiku, KTN Business.